Newcomers are always underestimated in any industry. SpaceX was a newcomer 20 years ago, but over time, they proved that fresh ideas and relentless energy can take a company to the top, even when facing established giants. SpaceX brought revolutionary ideas to the table, and today those ideas have become a reality, making them the undisputed leader in the space industry, while older players like Boeing struggle to survive. Today, there is another such newcomer, with the potential to change everything in the industry, Rocket Lab. They have many groundbreaking ideas, but one rocket in particular will undoubtedly bring big changes to the industry, and that is their Neutron rocket. The good news is that this rocket has already been in development for quite some time, and the company plans to deploy it as soon as possible. In this video, we will take a closer look at why this rocket is so different, how it stands out from the competition, and why it's a serious threat to SpaceX's dominance. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about this rocket and other groundbreaking achievements. For those of you who don't know, Rocket Lab is a relatively new company. They initially gained trust and recognition for their smaller rockets, particularly the Electron rocket, which has successfully launched numerous small satellites into orbit. However, Rocket Lab has now taken a significant step forward by developing a much heavier rocket, the Neutron. This medium lift rocket is expected to launch in 2025, and it's no exaggeration to say that its debut will likely be one of the biggest events in the space industry that year. Because Neutron isn't just an ordinary launch vehicle. It's designed to set a new standard for the rocket industry. Now, before SpaceX and Starship fans jump into the comment section, let me clarify. I'm not saying that Neutron is going to be the best rocket of 2025, nor am I saying it will dominate the market. Being technologically sophisticated doesn't necessarily mean it will outperform competitors like Falcon 9 or the future Starship. However, what Rocket Lab has done with Neutron is nothing short of groundbreaking. The level of innovation, the technologies employed, and its unique design make it stand out among other rockets currently being developed. Unlike traditional rockets, Neutron leverages carbon composite construction, 3D printing, and advanced reusability systems to achieve exceptional efficiency and performance. Neutron is built using carbon fiber composites, which are far lighter than the aluminum-lithium alloy used in Falcon 9 or the stainless steel employed in Starship. Lighter construction means that Neutron requires less thrust to deliver the same payload, giving it a significant efficiency edge. Rocket Lab's custom-built 3D printer lays down carbon fiber at a speed of 100 meters per minute. This advanced technique produces stronger, lighter rocket components in a fraction of the time compared to traditional manufacturing. The printer is also equipped with a fully automated inspection system that hunts for microscopic defects in the carbon composite as it's being laid down, ensuring every layer meets Rocket Lab's rigorous quality standards. One of Neutron's most unique features is its clamshell fairing system. Instead of detaching and falling into the ocean like traditional fairings, Neutron's fairing opens like a clam to deploy the second stage and payload, then closes and returns to Earth with the first stage. This shields the second stage and payload from atmospheric forces during ascent, allowing Rocket Lab to design a much lighter second stage that doesn't need to endure extreme stress. The reusable fairing reduces manufacturing costs and improves the economics of Neutron's reusability, providing a competitive advantage over other rockets. Powering Neutron is Rocket Lab's Archimedes engine, specifically optimized for Neutron's size and payload class. It uses liquid methane and oxygen as propellants, which offer higher efficiency and better reusability compared to traditional kerosene engines. Archimedes has already undergone successful ignition and hot fire testing, marking significant progress toward Neutron's first flight. The engine is designed to deliver reliable, efficient thrust while keeping costs low, aligning perfectly with Neutron's reusability goals. Unlike Starship, which relies on a launch tower for booster recovery, Neutron uses traditional landing legs, similar to Falcon 9. 
However, Neutron can perform both launch site recovery and downrange barge recovery, depending on the mission profile. This flexibility allows Neutron to maximize its payload capacity when recovering at sea, delivering up to 13 metric tons to low Earth orbit. This operational versatility makes Neutron an attractive choice for both commercial satellite launches and interplanetary missions. The rocket's capabilities have positioned it as a strong contender for major contracts, including NASA's Mars Sample Return Mission. Initially estimated at $10 billion, this NASA mission's cost quickly escalated, putting it at risk of cancellation. Rocket Lab presented an alternative solution using two neutron rockets, reducing the total cost to $2 billion. The plan involves one neutron rocket delivering a recovery lander to Mars to collect the samples, while the second neutron deploys an orbiting vehicle to retrieve those samples and return them to Earth. When compared to other launch vehicles, the cost-effectiveness of Neutron becomes even clearer. Falcon 9 has an estimated launch cost of $67 million per mission, while Starship is aiming for even lower costs in the future, though it remains under development. Neutron aims to compete in this price range while delivering more efficiency for medium-lift payloads. ULA's Vulcan Centaur is expected to cost significantly more, ranging between $100 million to $200 million per launch, making Neutron an attractive option for both commercial and government customers. Neutron's cost savings come from its carbon composite construction and 3D printed components, which reduce both weight and manufacturing time. Rocket Lab has been working on Neutron at an almost unprecedented pace. In 2022, Rocket Lab completed the molds and tooling required to manufacture Neutron. Shortly after that, the company moved forward with building full-scale prototype hardware for both the Neutron rocket itself and its innovative engine. That same year, Rocket Lab established its Archimedes test complex at NASA's Stennis Space Center. Fast forward to early 2023, Rocket Lab initiated engine ignition testing on development hardware, completed the infrastructure for the Neutron Stage 2 tank, and conducted structural and cryogenic testing on the final Stage 2 build by August. The next major milestone came when Rocket Lab built the first Archimedes development engine and successfully performed hot fire testing. Since then, Rocket Lab has been testing avionics, software systems, and guidance algorithms for Neutron, bringing it closer to a launch-ready state. Currently, the company is working on the flight mechanism test program and finalizing the Stage 1 build. Once this is complete, Rocket Lab will conduct static fire tests for both stages, integrate the rocket, carry out wet dress rehearsals, and launch Neutron for the first time in 2025. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been working on the Starship launch for its next flight, which is planned to happen on January 11, 2025. One of the key milestones was the successful static fire test of the Super Heavy Booster, Booster 14, conducted on December 9, 2024, at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. During this test, all 33 Raptor engines were ignited, while the booster remained anchored to the pad. For Flight 7, SpaceX is pairing Booster 14 with Ship 33, which is notable as the first Block 2 Starship upper stage. Ship 33 successfully passed its cryogenic proof testing back in October 2024, where it was tested for structural strength under the extreme conditions of liquid propellants. Booster 14 also underwent similar cryogenic tests and spin prime checks leading up to its recent static fire. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.